Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be going over zoologist macaque. Um, a zoologist that has gained some traction recently. It was one that was kind of infrequently talked about and um, it definitely deserves more attention. Um, it's not going to be for everybody, but at the same time, this is kind of a lighter and a fresher zoologist where a lot of them are extrates, heavy, this is an eau de parfum. So this is something that's lighter, that's airier, and I think it really takes inspiration from where the macaque is. Now, I might be wrong. I think this is um, kind of a mountainous arboreal um, primate that lives in the mountains of Japan, or it could be another Asian country. I think it might be Japan. I imagine them, they're in like those hot baths, right? They like go in those spring mineral water baths. I think that's what that monkey is. Anyways, point is, is this is somebody who lives on a mountain, lives in the forest, so you kind of, um, with all the other notes going on, I think there's an underlying kind of ozonic, fresh, clean, cold air that goes through this fragrance. I'll go ahead and read you the notes, but that's kind of the vibe I'm getting, um, despite the notes. The top notes are cedar, green apple, red mandarin. Heart notes are frankincense, galbanum, honey, rosewood, ylang ylang, jasmine tea. Base notes are cedar moss, green tea, white oud, and musk. Now it sounds like when you first hear it that this is heavier than it is. It really isn't heavy. As far as zoologist goes, it's, it's light and fresh. Um, at the top, you're gonna get that green apple. I don't know about the, med the red mandarin, but that green apple is crisp and it is tart. Um, the closest Sorry, thing- Sorry, Amazon I dropped off a package. The closest thing I've smelled green apple wise would be in Nasamato absinthe. Um, now there wasn't explicitly a green apple note in absinthe, but I definitely picked up one, this kind of green tarty fruitness to it. That's what I get in this. And the apple is very strong in the beginning, but it tapers off. And then you kind of are left with this tea, resinous, fresh mountain air kind of smell. Um, going into the heart notes, frankincense, galbanum, honey, rosewood, ylang ylang, jasmine tea. Definitely get the jasmine tea. Definitely get the ylang ylang. Um, definitely get the honey. Um, frankincense. Yeah, kind of, but it's not one of the big players in my opinion. Um, I don't think, you know, so much of this fragrance happens in the heart and it's not one of um, those shockers. It's not one of those really just, a, I don't want to say abrasive, but um, assertive zoologists that, you know, let themselves know, let other people know that I am a unique fragrance, um, or I personally am wearing something that most people don't. Um, and this is one that's a lot friendlier and doesn't project that way. This is, um, something I guess I'm not going to call it, it's just friendlier among the zoologist line. Um, in the base notes, cedar moss. Now with the cedar moss, because, um, it pairs with the musk, and I get something in here that is kind of reminiscent of wet fur. And now I just did a sloth review, and this is, it's similar to the sloth. And I guess maybe it's the moss, but sloth is oak moss, this is cedar moss. But anyways, they play together where I kind of get this wet fur kind of skunkiness, but not in a bad way. When I say skunky, I don't mean bad, but I just kind of mean this um, furry warm out animalic. Um, it's not pissy or anything like that. It, it's just, mu it's musk, it's animalic. Um, and this turns some people off. However, among zoologists, this is not pungent animalic at all. This is very friendly zoologist. This guy isn't going to offend anybody. I think people who have smelled macaque and didn't like it and made those comments were people who this may be their first zoologist or they were just um, never really into animalics. So I feel that, you know, they're entitled to their opinion, but they may not, they might not be um, a benchmark opinion for um, what this fragrance is. Uh, <laughs> I mean that politely. I'm not meaning like, oh, they're plebes. But it's, you know, you, you got to like zoologists to like zoologists. You know what I mean? Um, it's not quite for me, this fragrance, um, not because of the animalics, but rather I don't like tea fragrances that much. Um, and it's hard to sell me on a tea fragrance. Um, and this is absolutely a tea fragrance. Tea is a big player in this and you kind of get that. But 
What I do like is I like that crisp, cool mountain air. And um, I guess some of the notes play together, but it's almost ozonic and it, it just in my mind tells me cold, fresh, clean air. And I do like that. Um, I think it's very pleasing. Um, I don't think it's going to offend anybody. Um, it, it's, it's a fine fragrance. It's just not for me, um, basically. I like the greenness, I like the green freshness, I like the coldness. This definitely, this definitely belongs in someone's collection, absolutely. Um, not mine, because it's not the niche I'm looking to fill, but I, you know, I would recommend this to people who are new to zoologists. Um, if they can put aside kind of the musky fear, but it, if this puts you off with the musk, you're not gonna like any zoologist really, except like squid and like chameleon or something, just like, like level one difficulty challenging. Um, this is maybe like a, a step up, but I think the notes overall would be something more interesting to, or appealing to people who are new to fragrances because new people like the fresh, clean, mountainy, foresty stuff. That's just, you know, where a lot of people start. Um, and this definitely appeals to that. Um, and it's cool. I like the steampunky Japanese kimono monkey. Um, so yeah, I, I, I enjoy the fragrance and you know, I'm glad I have the sample. I'll definitely use the sample. Um, but just long-term bottle buying, probably not for me. This would be great spring pick, great summer pick. Uh, you could absolutely wear this in the fall. This definitely has that freshness, but it, it definitely has a bit of the zoologist base in there that'll give it that longevity and give it that presence, but not more so than some of the heavier x rates. So this is a happy in-between. Um, and that's what I call macaque is a happy in-between. Anyways, that's all folks, thank you.